Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Bleacher, co-director of cataract and primary eye care at the Wills Eye Institute. I wanted to talk to you this afternoon about Flomax and cataract surgery. Some of you may have heard that there's an issue if you take Flomax and are planning on having cataract surgery. I'm here to tell you that it's true. Potentially, there could be an issue. So what's going on? Flomax is a medication that's given to people who have prostate enlargement or urinary retention. It helps them pee better. Great stuff but it also has effects on the rest of the body. In the bladder, the Flomax relaxes the sphincter that controls your urine, so that way you're able to go to the bathroom. In the eye, it works on a muscle in the iris. The iris is the colored part of your eye, the opening of which is the pupil. We dilate your pupil to get to the cataract when we do cataract surgery. Therefore, a more widely dilated pupil is helpful. In addition, this muscle makes up most of the tissue of the iris. So if this muscle becomes atrophied or decays, as it does with Flomax, it can make that iris tissue very friable, very loose, and very difficult to work with. There are several ways we can work around that if we know in advance that a patient has taken or is taking Flomax. Yes, it doesn't matter if you stopped your Flomax. If you've taken it for a while, the effects on your iris may be permanent, and they could impact how the surgery goes. So be sure and keep track of the medications that you take or have taken, and let your ophthalmologist know when you're talking about cataract surgery. Not all ophthalmologists are equally comfortable dealing with patients who've had Flomax. But most are, and if given advance notice, they can take several different steps to work with the pupil and the iris to decrease the chances of any problems occurring during your cataract operation. As I said earlier, stopping Flomax doesn't really help, so you should not stop your medication without first consulting your primary care doctor or your urologist. And as I said, definitely give your ophthalmologist a heads up on any and all medications that you may be taking because they can affect the eye. 